Hi, my name is Jerry Reed. I've been an Enzo dealer for over 30 years now. And I worked around service stations uh, as a, in high school and, and go to college. And I was when I was in the military, I was a diesel engine on a submarine. So I had familiarity with engine oils and thought I knew a fair amount about them. And one of the things that always surprised me after I got involved with Antoil was the W that in the engine oil classification viscosity uh, ratings. And I always thought that the W stood for weight. And if you ask anybody today, or most anybody today, you ask them what that W stands for, they're going to say it stands for weight or viscosity, or it refers to the viscosity uh, in cold weather, how uh, in some way it relates to that. Well, actually, the W stands for winter. It's a rating on the characteristics of the oil and how they allow the engine to turn over in extreme cold weather. And they have a device that actually measures that. Uh, it, they put the oil in a, in a gearbox, uh, they have inside a refrigeration unit, and they bring the temperature down, and they have an electric motor that turns the, the gears inside that gearbox, and they measure the amperage drawer on the motor at whatever temperature they have brought that oil down to. And <clears throat> there's a graph or a chart that they refer to. And if an oil can fall within a certain amperage range or strain on the motor or effort to turn, then it will qualify as a, a number uh, on that grade. And to give you an idea, these are the viscosities we're familiar with. 20W50, 15W40, 10W30, 5W30, 0W30, and 5W20. Those are the most popular. And there's a lot of other variations within that. But the 20W, 10W, 5W, 15W all refer to cold cranking measurements done with that device in the refrigerator. And what they do is they put that oil in and they turn it. Now to qualify for a 0W rating on the oil, it's done at 35 below zero and they turn those gears, and if the amperage draw was, is within a certain range, then they can give it the 0W rating. If it's a 5W they're looking for, or the oil qualifies, this is done at 30 below zero. This is done at 35 below zero. And if it, if it qualifies, it allows the uh, gears to turn with uh, so within the resistance range, you'll qualify as a 10W, a 5W. 10W is done at 25 below zero. And again, if they can turn those gears and within a certain resistance range, they will call that oil a 10W. 15W is done the same way at 20 below zero, and 20W is done the same way at 15 below zero. So that's all those numbers refer to. They re refer to the ability of the oil to allow the engine to turn easier in extreme cold weather. In most climates in this country, and particularly in the uh, southern parts of the country, that's of course irrelevant. It really doesn't get that cold, that they really have to worry too much about it. But it does allow the engines, even if it does get somewhat cold, it allows the engines to start that much easier. Viscosity, and viscosity is your most important characteristic of an engine lubricant because that measures the ability of that lubricant to lubricate within that engine within a certain range. So viscosity is the, really the important thing. Once that engine starts, this is the viscosity. So. A 0W, a 5W, a 10W, once the engine is running,
they are all 30 grade oils. 5W is a 20 grade oil, 15W40 uh, 40 is a 40 grade oil, and, uh, and the, uh, what we usually refer to racing oil of 2050 is a 50 grade uh, oil. Not to be concerned with these numbers, these are the most important numbers.